Well, good morning, church. Happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great weekend. Want to give you a little bit of an update on what is transpiring right now so that you can get everything scheduled, planned, and ready to go for the next upcoming weeks in regards to all things Community Gospel Church. Here is what's happening in regards to where we currently are at and what we're looking forward to doing in the near future. Uh, Indiana had a stay-at-home ban that was in effect until April 20th. The mayor jumped on and he had a huge press conference. We were praying for him the whole time, and he extended our stay-at-home um, plan or whatever you want to call it um, until May 1st, 2020. So um, what that essentially means is uh, April 26th service is going to move to online or stay online. So we're going to go ahead and keep all of our services online, communitygospel.online.com. Church. Now, we have been doing the best that we possibly can in order to talk to the local authorities and to the authorities uh, that are over uh, us and looking um, to make sure that our conversations are honoring and glorifying to the Lord as we strive to get our doors back open and get people back to gathering. What we have found is um, that that conversation has been limited. We know that there is a massive number of people trying to reach out to these individuals. And so we're doing our best to be patient, to wait for responses from them. But we're trying to talk to them and trying to make sure we know what we're called to do uh, as a church, as uh, we kind of listen to them. And we hang in that balance, right, between honoring the governor and the governing authorities uh, but also realizing that there is a, a, a great importance for us to gather as believers in physical presence. OK, so um, we are going to look at April 26, keep all our services online. And then the goal here is to go to May 3rd. So let's talk about the month of May and let's talk about what May looks like for us as a congregation. May 3rd, the church will be open. Whether that's an outside service or we're going to meet in the sanctuary, uh, we are going to do our best to open up the doors. Well, what if the stay at home ban stays in effect and things like that? There's some hard decisions that will have to be made in um, uh, those times. And we're asking you to continue to pray for us as we make these hard decisions. Uh, but we're going to do our best to get back May 3rd. Um, it has been far too long uh, where we have been separated. Now we're seeing the people who are in dispersion need to come back together. So whether that's an outside service or whether that's a service where we're in the sanctuary, uh, it will happen at 1010. And we're trying to figure out the logistics and the details and hang in that balance between honoring the governor and realizing there's importance for us to gather back together. Like I said, we'll only have the 1010 service, no 9 a.m. hour on May 3rd. Um, the sanctuary prayerfully will be the only room that is open. No nurseries will be open or other ministries are going to be up and running at that time. Now, if you don't feel comfortable being at Community Gospel Church, that's totally OK. If you're still wanting to tune in via our live stream, that's totally fine. Uh, we uh, would say that you do that until you feel comfortable coming back and returning. OK, so our live feed will be available to you. We'll have the opportunity to continue to stream that. Uh, but the sanctuary is going to be the only room that is going to be open. Now, Jessica is going to continue to release a children's service uh, on Saturdays via YouTube or Vimeo. And you can watch that as you desire. So if you want to do that at eight o'clock, you can go ahead and do that at eight o'clock. If you want to do that on Saturday night with your students, you can. Uh, it's completely up to you. But we're going to release that a little bit earlier so you don't have to feel like you're doing that at at the nine o'clock hour and then running to come to church at 10 10 if you choose okay so uh jessica's still going to provide that content for that week it's going to be a very simple service we're going to sing together we're going to pray together and uh, we're going to take time to just um uh, talk about the word and encourage one another and um hopefully that will happen so may Third, keep praying about that. Then on May 10th, all right, we're going to do uh, the 1010 service again. And, again. and again, we don't know if this is going to be outside. We don't know if this is going to be inside. Um, but uh, we'll do multiple services if gathering numbers are restricted. OK, so we've already kicked that around in regards to what it would look like for us to gather if we can only have 50 people or 100 people or whatever the case is. We're hoping that that doesn't happen and transpire if that 
happens and transpires will give you guys everything that you need to know about multiple services. But hopefully we'll just have one 1010 service. The sanctuary and then a nursery will be opened. It'll be a non-staffed nursery for parents who need to nurse or just um, take care of their children. Um, but we'll keep one of those open. Jess, again, will release a children's service uh, on Saturday via YouTube or Vimeo. She'll give you all those links to be watched when you desire. Another simple service, okay? The 17th of May, we're going to open up a little bit more um, and uh, see hopefully that the sanctuary and all four of those nurseries will be open. There will tentatively be a children's program during the service, which would mean uh, there will be no children's services that are going to be offered via YouTube or Vimeo anymore. So those would cease and uh, we would see the children's uh, services actually happen and transpire during that 10 10 hour for our young people. Okay. 24th, uh, hopefully we'll see some more uh, things transpire and open up then. And then the 31st, uh, we would be right back to normal. We would have the nine o'clock hour, we would have the 10, 10 service and uh, everything would be back to normal as uh, it was before those gatherings ceased. Okay, so that is the plan for us. That's what we're looking at in regards to moving forward. Listen, this is an extremely hard time and we thank you so much for being patient in this process. We know that we've outlined plans and then those plans have changed and then we've had to uh, reconstruct some things. And for us as staff and ministry heads, we have just strived to do our best in this time where we're in these uncharted waters. Okay, And uh, we just want to thank you so much for, first of all, praying for us in this time and uh, for being diligent with continuing to stay in God's word in this time and to continue to love one another by ministering to people and their needs, both in our church family and outside of our church family. And we want to thank you for giving in this time, for continuing to make sure that the church is functioning uh, with all those monetary gifts. We thank you so much. All of those gifts go to making Christ known near and far. And just because we're not active in the building doesn't mean that ministry isn't happening. So uh, from me and the staff and the ministry heads and all of our volunteers and our church family and our friends, we just want to say thank you so much for all you're doing to make Christ known near and far. We believe with all of our heart that the best is yet to come and that God is going to use this season and he's going to use this time to not only uh, do great things uh, with his church, but also with us, his people, and we're praying that this is a great awakening for our country and our nation, uh, that they would turn away from themselves and come into a relationship God, with God through faith in Christ. We believe that the gospel is so important and it's so prevalent today. And we're seeing people who are understanding the gospel come to know the gospel. And it's a great time in our country to get excited about what God has done, is doing, and will do. So thank you so much uh, for being patient. This is the plan. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, feel free to get a hold of me. Let me know. I'll um, answer them the best of my ability, the best I can. The best way to reach out to us is admin at cgccommunity.com and we'll answer you as soon as we possibly can. All right. I'm praying for you guys. Have a great week this week. We love you and you know the rest. The best is yet to come. God bless.